So today we're going to start graphing piecewise functions. As you can see here, we have three functions. And to the right, we have constraints for each of these functions. What this means is that for this function, you're only allowed to use x less than or equal to zero. For the second function, we're only allowed to use uh, x is between zero and five. And for the third function, we're allowed to use x greater than five. The first thing we need to do is make a table of value for each function. So starting with the first function, we're going to use our table of value, x is less than or equal to zero. We have to use the zero they give us, so that will be our first x value. Then we need to choose other values for the x that are less than or equal to zero from that point. So negative one would be less than zero, and negative two would be less than zero. We're going to plug these into this function for x and solve and get the y value. So as we plug in f of x, if we plug in 0, we get negative of 0 plus 2, which is the square root of 2. And that is approximately 1.4. So my first point, 0, 1.4. Then we're going to plug in negative 1. So as we plug in negative 1, we're going to get negative of negative 1 plus 2. When we work that out, that's going to be a positive 1 plus 2, which is square root of 3, which is approximately 1.7. So now we have our second point, negative 1, 1 1.7. The third one, we're going to plug in negative 2. We're going to do negative of negative 2 plus 2, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. And here's the three points we've got so far. We could continue further and pick negative 3, negative 4, and so forth to make the graph more accurate if needed. So as we go up to our graph, we need to know that our first value is going to either be an open or closed circle based on the inequality. If the inequality has an equal, we're going to have a closed dot for that first point. So down here at 0, 1.4, that's going to be a closed dot. So let's graph that. 0, 1.4, approximately there. Make it an obvious solid dot. Then all the rest of these are just going to be points on the graph like normal. Negative 1, 1 1.7 will be approximately here. Negative 2, 2 will be here. And we're going to draw our graph. Since it doesn't have two ends to it, we're going to graph from the point we started at and draw the picture. The picture is going to be a slight hook to the left because it is the square root function. Now we're going to move on to our second graph. So we're doing 2x minus 1 from 0 to 5. So we need to pick both 0 and 5 for points on our graph and maybe something in between. So let's start with 0. If we do f of 0, we're going to get 2 times 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. I'm going to pick another value that's between 0 and 5. So let's just pick 1. So when I do f of 1, I get 2 times 1 minus 1, and that will be 1. Then I'm going to finish by picking the final point because this is a between scenario. So we're going from 0 to 5. I'm going to pick the point 5 for my x and plug that in. This will give me 10 minus 1, which is 9. So the point 5, 9 is going to be right here. It is going to be a closed circle because this is an inequality that has an equal. So this side would be a closed circle. So this is a closed circle here. Zero, when I plot that, because it's not equal, I'm going to have an open, open circle at that point. So this will be an open circle. So 0, negative 1, I have an open circle. Then I can plot as many points in between as I need to make an accurate graph. So 1, 1, that would be a point, and I could find more in between if I would like. Connect this, it makes a line. And there's our second piece of our graph.
Now we need to do the same thing for our third function, f of x equals 3. It is for values where x is greater than 5, but no matter what, again, we're going to use this 5 value and figure out what our answer is. So we start our, our table at 5, and we pick numbers greater than 5, 6, 7, however many we need. When we plug this into this function, there's nowhere to put the x in. So when I do f of 5, or f of any number, I literally get 3 for all my answers. So my point would be 5, 3. When I do f of 6, I get 6, 3. When I do f of 7, I get 7, 3. The first point, because this is an inequality without an equal, is going to be an open circle. Therefore, 5, 3 is an open circle, and it's going to continue in whatever direction, however far this is going. So 5, 3, open circle, 6, 3, regular point, 7, 3, regular point, and it continues to the right forever, just like it's inequality. So that's the graphing portion. If we want to do the evaluate portion, which is right here, to evaluate f of 5, we need to figure out which one of these three is where that x belongs. So we need to decide is 5 less than or equal to 0, which is no. Is 5 between 0 and 5 and including, meaning equal to 5? Yes. Is 5 greater than 5? No. So this is going to go into this equation here. So we do 2 times 5 minus 1, which is 9. And that would be our answer. We do the same thing for f of 0. We have to decide which one of these three it belongs in first to be able to decide which one of these equations to plug it in next. So since 0 is less than or equal to 0 is true, we should be plugging into this first equation. It doesn't work in the second one because it's not equal to 0. It's less, it's, uh, 0 is less than x or read backwards, x is greater than 0. So 0 doesn't work there, and 0 is not greater than 5, so we're going to use this first equation. We plug it in. Negative of 0 plus 2, square root of 2, which is 1.4. Our third value, f of 6, does not belong in the first equation, does not belong in the second because 6 is not less than or equal to 0. 6 is not between 0 and 5. 6 is greater than 5. So it belongs in here. So if we plug it in here, literally, there's no place to plug it in, so my answer is 3. So we have evaluating our function and graphing our function. In order to make a graph, you're going to have to make separate tables for each function. And these tables are based on their domain restrictions that are given here. So only 0 or less is allowed in there, between 0 and 5 in this one, and greater than 5 in that one. 